Bonjour! Bonsoir! <laughs> Dear friends, welcome to JCB Live Wine Style. I am with one of the most knowledgeable men on cheese in the world. He does not smell like cheese. The smell he, good cheese guy. <laughs> he breathes like cheese. Todd, an incredible cheesemonger here at the Ogo Grocery. We're in the heart of Napa Valley in Oville. We are midsummer. And dear friends, we're going to have a lot of fun today because it's one of my favorite cheese of history with our Burgundy Chardonnay here from the Boisse family, bringing from Gregory Patrion amazing Chardonnay. It's what do you think of that? Delicious. Lemony, creamy, grapefruit acid, very good balance. Really good. Really good. Wow. This is going to go so well. With this new baby, I had to beg. I begged so hard for so long that finally Todd brought it in. You know, it's funny when your boss begs to you how long it really takes is like the next week. But all right, I'll go with begging. <laughs> but look at this child. Look at this. Dear friends, when you think the Oakville Grocery doesn't have the biggest assortment of cheese, now we do. And it's amazing because Todd has done an incredible job. We have over 150 cheeses at any given time. So the selection is very wide, very broad, very international, as well as the best purveyors. And he's done some affinage for the last month. A couple of, couple of, couple of weeks on this thing. Um, we're going to do today, we're going to do some interesting things. Well, this is one of the French AOC cheeses. Cantal is a cheese uh, made in the Auvergne region. It's in the... I was just reading about this, the Massif Central. Yeah, so when you think of Volvic water, when you think about the most pure water, the best cows, some of the best cows, and volcanic soil, so it's actually very similar to Mount San Lina. When you think about it, that soil is volcanic. It has a lot of hot springs sure. and cold springs, which makes it so unique for beautiful mineral waters as well. Great caves, natural caves. Actually, this is the same neighborhood as where you'll see Grofo. Right? That's so, it. So, so. Yep. So this cheese is a mountain cheese, though, and it's made, the, the animal itself is, is the Solaire cow. It's a brown cow. Um, occasionally, when the weather is right, the cheesemakers will take their cows up to higher elevations and do a cheese called Solaire, which is a second AOC. Which I love! It's and we're going to get Salas! In, in, yeah! It's, <laughs> they make it in August, if they make it, and, and they probably will this year. It's warm. But in the meantime, we're going to have a little uh, Cantel Jean. And, and dear friends, this is one of the oldest cheese of France, made by the Gaulois. So we're talking about pre 8th century. Yeah. And moment. that's the coolest part. So yeah. when you think about one of the oldest cheese in France, here it is. And look at this. It's amazing. A, it's a gem. Are we gonna ever gonna try this? We're gonna try it. We're talking about riding a bicycle at this point. So let's, yes, it looks like. Let's it. Go, uh, cut this guy. Can I help you? Sure. You want? I'll, you want I'll take one side. Okay, here we go. Oh! Ah! 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 <laughs> hey, it takes a lot of muscles no, to it's, be a no, cheese it, it really is. A, it is. A, it's strapping. Oh. Look at this guy. I mean, this is a dream. Oh, that is a serious pate, my friends. We are in France. Can and you now, imagine? It feels like we in November. Okay. This is one of the best moments of the month because after you. Oh. So you are the master, well, and, and I'll do one more because I really want you to try first. I think when you taste cheese, you should approach it a little Julia. bit like wine. Yeah, let's share some with you. You know, everybody wants to, you want to, to taste it. Smell it, you want to look at it, you want to sense the uh, pate of it. In this case, it's just too hard not to just to share maybe with the boys. Share with the boys. Oh, look at this. Again, Dylan, he deserves <laughs> it. He's behind the camera sweating today. Wow. Oh. So what does this make you think? Kind of, but very much like the wine, super balanced. Yeah. This is like a fine English cheddar. This is a this is a cheese that has very little spikes one way or the other. It's just all sitting right evenly, like a beautiful lake or something placid. And, but it's, man, 
It's subtle in its barniness. It's yeah. subtle in its grassiness. But right. on the finish, you kind of starting to get a little bit of that herbaceous green grass. Well but, said. But I think that on the front end, it's just a melter gobble. I think this cheese would be very ch children friendly, actually. I can see kids well, really liking this cheese. And, you know, a lot of the sandwiches in France, even grilled cheese, are made with Cantal. This one is young, as you can see. You know, it's very gentle. Oh, it really likes the Chardonnay too. Boy, that's oh, really good. I would, I would love to see like Salers a little more age. Yeah. Maybe 12 months, 16 months. So we're gonna get more we'll with we'll older. Mmm, amazing. The other thing that's interesting about doing cheese and wine tasting in general is you should, you don't have to, but there's no rules. That is the first thing. But try the wine, and then the cheese. And then give yourself a pellet with a little bread or something, a little pellet break, and then try the, the cheese and the wine in that order and see if things change. And it's gonna, in many cases, sometimes the cheese. Here we go. Thank you very much. You, 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 you ask, you shall receive. Fantastic. And you'll see the uh, you'll see the textures of the cheese and the wine will change in, in which order you sort of uh, set them into your palate. And I gotta say, with a Burgundy Chardonnay works so well it really does it really does so now what do you have what are you proposing as we're going to try let's try now the russian river okay why not well you're going to finish that one first okay it's hard to mix Salute. one together <laughs> i love it with todd because he doesn't believe in spittoon that's He's a like me i call that a table blend so now we're going to the russian river because we have another cheese that is fantastic, but in between the two cheeses, you've put oh, together yes. this gorgeous little presentation. Look These are some products that were brought that we brought back to the grocery. Actually, they're from Zoe's Meats, and they are made locally in Petaluma, and they are kind of famous for a ghost chili salami. So if you like Jalokia, they make one of those too. But um, we brought in these because they were just too fun. One is absinthe, one is flavored with cocoa and chilies. And then we brought a turkey salami in because we get a lot of requests for things that are not pork in here. And we have a couple of, we have another thing that's for later to show you that's like that too. So we are now offering these salamis. These are also, they're, they're complex. Food. That's going to, that's the absinthe. Oh, um, hmm. there you go. Yeah. I had a tough night last night. <laughs> it's nice, but it'll make everything look like a manet. Um, uh, it's all, it's got really nice texture. Yeah. Again, very kid friendly, even though. The, the cocoa and chili, even though it has chili in it, it's not too hot. The turkey is very good. Not a fool around. You know, sometimes you throw away a turkey salami. And on the face of all this great pork charcuterie or beef charcuterie, uh, the poultry can go as a secondary thought. And this one is not that. It's a very good beef sauce, right. uh, turkey saucisse on set. And the absinthe is anise based, as we all know. Right. It's this phenomenal drink that made people crazy at the turn of the last century. Yes. All the great artists and actors and dancers and you poets. Can, you can still ha get it here, actually. You can find dining, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it's a wormwood that is no longer in it. There's a component that made it psychoactive that isn't allowed anymore. But as far as I'm concerned, we should lobby to bring that back. Just, I you know, agree. Like, I'm into the psycho. Well, luckily, it's in the saucy song. It is in the saucy song. So what about this This one? one, I think, is really interesting, complex. This is cocoa and chili. And it's got, it's the other things, the spices that they've combined those two with, it's neither chocolate nor, nor wow. hot. It's not, neither chocolate nor hot, but it is cocoa and chili. So it's a really good, it's always meats, it's really good. They're also bringing us uh, cheeses from a company called Daphne's Cream right yep. there. And we have these great little breeds available now that are beautiful, perfect size, and super creamy and delicate. And again, really beautiful thing. They have a good cheddar too, actually. So Daphne's Creamery and Zoe Meats are all things and that are now What's here. your last one? That's the turkey. Well, you should try that okay. one because I cannot just be the one getting white. No! <laughs> that is a good piece of, although large, salami. Hmm. Yeah, that's generous serving. So now, I think to go with the Chardonnay from the Russian River, it's very rich. Made by my wonderful winemaker, Brian Maloney. Great, great team. This is our Russian River Chardonnay. Very iconic. This is the wine you want to have all summer. And it has a lot of great balance, exotic weight to it. Gorgeous. It really does. Barrel flavor. 
nice hints of vanilla. Again, the finish on this Russian River wine is not a, is, is atypical to a California Chardonnay from that neighborhood. It's light, it, it, it vanishes beautifully, it's very beautiful. I like that, it vanishes beautifully. So now, dear friends, we have another cheese. We have another cheese. A little surprise, I don't even know that one. It's gonna be my first moment of pleasure. This is from Boxcar Creamery in Cedar Groves, North Carolina. And they are a handmade robiola. When you think about a robiola, traditionally they are mixed, traditionally they're Italian, but that said, uh, a handmade mixed milk cheese. In this case, it's cow and goat. They also do an all cow that we carry. And this is a robiola, and we found that for people who are on the picnics for two, this is a little large, so we cut them in half for you all. <laughs> But that's great. Look at, well, look for at two, that. who knows? We could make that easy, cheese together. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> it, would, it would require a second bottle. Yeah, but but, well, that we have. There's two here. This is you know a, where we're going next. The Boxcar Cheese Company is supporting their local farmers. The COVID-19 uh, pandemic in nor Upper North Carolina just blew them away. It really hurt the economy and everything. So if you go to the website, Boxcar Cheeses, uh, they can lead you to a cheese that they're using the proceeds for to sort of save some farms locally. So and you know I what I thought one. we could do with it? I don't want crackers. Is that six seed crackers. We don't necessarily have to have it No, now, let's do it. No, let's pop but it up. It's very, very nice with it because it gives a lot of great balance. Six seed crackers organic. Do you want me to cut it? Sure. I'm going to go this way. You want to go the other way? Yeah. You know why? Because I love the sides. I'm a huge fan of the sides. That's how you break a wine glass of excitement. Salud! What was the word? Ah. Epa! You're supposed to yell Epa. Hey, let's, let's go for it. Okay. Mm. 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 Did it. Oh, that's a monster. I mean, this is insane. Great, right? Wow. They've done such a great job. I mean, can you believe that part of the United States was not necessarily making wine in those days, right? They're not making one now. <laughs> Certainly not cheese. They're not making liberals here. They don't have any. They don't have any blue votes there either. Um, this is good. So how would you describe it? This is, a, except for the blooming rind, this is a classic Robiola. It's very much like the Robiolas from the city of Boise or Boisina. It's the the company that comes out of it. So you have a a Brie style rind that is a beautiful penicillin, yeah. and then you have the texture and sweetness of a cow's milk, like a like a triple cream almost, it's not a triple cream. And then there's enough goat's milk in there to make it refreshing. And That's kind it. of and so the spikes of the goat's milk against the spikes of the rind kind of cancel each other's out and the 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 cheese becomes again pretty well balanced, pretty I, delicious. It's all about balance. It is indeed. So well, well, dear friends, you can see how Todd is not only an expert, he's so passionate, he knows his cheese. So call us. Cold talk. Come on by. We have all this and more. We're ready for your every need, your Labor Day party, your Halloween party. What else is happening? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We're going to be... Well, every day party because at the end of the day, you should have cheese every day. Every and day. And even for breakfast. I agree. See so, you soon. Salute.